Welcome into this Lion Vision update with UNA head basketball coach Bobby Champagne. The UNA men went on the road in the last week and split a pair of road games. Coach, let's start with the win over West Georgia, 99-92, to an overtime win. And this was a ball game. Your team led for the first 25 minutes of the ball game by double figures. West Georgia made a late push. What about the perseverance your team showed falling behind in the final five minutes and then winning in overtime? Yeah, I think we did a, a really good job early in the game. I thought we did a, a, an excellent job um, late in the game where we got down um, with some adversity, had some guys in foul trouble, had some guys on the bench um, that uh, normally play, had some guys in the game that, that hadn't uh, given us a whole lot of production and, and uh, showed some resilience and showed some perseverance and got, got us into overtime. And then in overtime, we really stepped up and, uh, and, and played like we had at the start of the game. So uh, good road win. Uh, West Georgia is a, a talented team, and uh, you know it's a good good game. Anytime you can win on the road in this league, you're doing a pretty good job. And the road win was was big for several reasons. One, that's the only matchup with West Georgia this season. Then you fast forward to Monday, a loss to Auburn Montgomery. But the good news is with that loss is you get AUM once again at home. So it just shows the sort of the importance, I guess, of the unbalanced conference schedule yeah I, I, I'm still trying to figure out the unbalanced schedule right now I guess we're at, we're at the halfway point uh, in the league because we played 10 games but uh, we hadn't played everybody yet so it's uh, it's a little bit a uh, little bit different and not everybody is playing uh, on the same days uh, we play Thursday Saturday this week uh, there's some teams playing Saturday Monday this week uh, so maybe uh, maybe we'll get it all figured out once once uh, some things settle. But uh, definitely good to get a split on the road. Would have much preferred uh, a sweep so that we could get back to where we need to. But, uh, you know, AUM was, was pretty good from, from the three-point line. You had several players stand out over the weekend. D.D. Smith had a big game against West Georgia. Kevin DeHero as well against West Georgia. But Tavares Tolliver, maybe the most consistent player, 18 points versus West Georgia, 17 versus AUM. An up-and-down year for him in his junior season. But what was he doing so well over the last two ball games? Well, he got to the basket. Uh, he, he came off the ball screen, got to the basket, and finished around the, uh, around the uh, rim. Uh, did a good job of penetrating and, and uh, knocking down that, uh, that little – jumper that he has right there in the lane um, so he, he was very good offensively uh, for all of our guys uh, I think I think most of our guys have been very good offensively our, our defense and our rebounding uh, is what's going to be key down the stretch uh, because we, we've shown we can score the basketball and we've shown that we can shoot the basketball but uh, we've got to get some stops and uh, we, we've got to do a much better job of that. This weekend, a Saturday, traveling to Huntsville to take on UAH, a team that's 5-5 five and five in conference play, just a game above North Alabama. It's a matchup between two of the top scoring teams in the Gulf South Conference. What does UAH look like this season? Well, they uh, lead the league in uh, field goal percentage. They lead the league in uh, three-point field goal percentage. Uh, when they shoot the ball well, um, you know, it's kind of stupid to say, but when they shoot it well, they look really good. And that they make – they make 12 threes a game. So on those nights where they're really uh, knocking them down, uh, take like the game against Christian Brothers, they make 18 of them. Uh, so that they look they look really, really good offensively. Um, you know, at Montevallo, don't shoot it so good and get beat by 25 points. So um, they've been undefeated at home. So obviously it'll be a, a tough game. be the last time we go to Spragans Hall. But uh, it should be fun. An easy road trip for Lion fans to make. The UNA men and women taking on UAH in Huntsville. Game time's at 2 and 4 p.m.